Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James and today we're going to be watching Avatar The Last Airbender Book 1 Episode 16. So last episode we met um, one of my favorite characters in the show, did a little bit of research, found out that apparently June is not in very much of Avatar, but we love her. June is the best. So I'm a little sad. Might not be seeing June for a while. Um, obviously I avoided spoilers, but Really, really, really great last few episodes, so I am just overjoyed and excited to be getting straight into this. As always, guys, full-length reaction is going to be up at the Patreon. Next week's reaction, episode 17, also going to be up on our Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, joining us. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. Maybe check out our Patreon. It does really support us, gives you guys early access to all of our content on this channel and our other channel, our live-action channel. Super, super reasonable, so feel free to check that out. And yeah, let's just get into Avatar Book One, Episode Sixteen. Fire. Is this the most iconic TV show opening of all time? It's it's got to be up there with like Breaking Bad, honestly. In the Office, maybe. The Deserter. Okay. I feel like there's a desert dessert joke there, but I I missed it. <laughs> Cultural exhibits, jugglers, vendors, magicians. This would be a great place for me to study some real firebenders. I didn't know the firebenders had a cultural exhibit. I thought they just had, like, murder exhibit. A wanted poster. <laughs> but he's famous. I have to learn firebending at some point, and this could be my only chance to watch- Yeah, he's totally gonna go. I guess we can- Guys, you just gotta help him, because he's gonna go whether you want him to or not. Because we always leave before we get the trouble. You know, I understand where you're coming from, bro. Yeah, who- Who's that guy? He looks cool. <laughs> That's just adorable. Dude, I saw somebody with an Appa sweater, bro, and I need it now. I have to get it. There's your deserter. Whoa. Okay, this is why I love the Fire Nation, man. Look at this. They're nice disguises where are we gonna get masks like that get <laughs> that's how it would be no one can surprise the fire lord oh, no! whoa that was dope i would watch that puppet show that was cool next trick i need a volunteer from the audience no, 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 Aang. I want to get a closer look. No, dude, don't be stupid. Any attention to ourselves. How about you, little lady? Uh, Aang. This next. Maybe that's, okay, maybe that's not the guy uh, on the wanted poster. Where's the dragon? Oh, that is sick. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. See, they can't do this other entertainment in the other nations. The rope, it's breaking. Whoa. No, Aang, it's... You idiot, dude. Yeah, what are you doing, dude? Why would you do that? It clearly was a performance. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. This is completely our fault. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby. We gotta move. Oh, for that. That works, too. <laughs> okay, that's just cool. Oh, nice. We, we celebrated that fire day right there. I serve a man, living legend, John John the Deserter. He was a Fire Nation general. Oh. Oh, oh, so that's the guy in the poster. You mean there's a firebender out here who's not with the Fire Lord? We've got to go see him. He can train me. Thanks for the help, but we're leaving for the North Pole in the morning. Sokka, <sighs> this could be my only chance to meet a firebender. Yeah, Sokka, why are we going to the North Pole, dude, if we're not going to learn? I, I think this is good. That's what you said about going to the festival. Why doesn't anyone ever listen <laughs> to me? <laughs> oh. Ah. What the heck? Was here. He oh great. Away. Yes, sir. But He's after us, dude. Kill me now, man. Oh great. No fights? 
Beth was way down. I don't care about your local crime rates. <laughs> oh, they headed into the forest. Up the river, I suspect. He won't see you. He's what? very angry that I brought you here. He wants you to leave immediately. Finally. Wait, why? Why won't he see me? That doesn't make any sense. Since you're not ready. Since you haven't mastered water bending and earth bending yet. Wait. To be honest, I wasn't really sure there was a order that you had to learn the men, but... It's my destiny to... Destiny? What would a boy know of destiny? Only that it runs on and on, out of his control. He may follow where it blows, but he cannot see the end. To master the bending disciplines, you must first master discipline itself. <laughs> I think he's right, man. Can you now get out? Please, I have to learn. Soothing, earth is steady and stable. But fire, fire is alive. It breathes, it grows. But fire will spread and destroy everything oh. in its path if one does not have the will to control it. That is so cool. You think I am weak, Avatar Roku? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thousand lifetimes. This is so cool. Now I must do it once again. Yes, I will teach you. Really? That's great. I feel like he has been broken, um, because of his. I'm sure he's been broken because of his experiences. Silence. Talking is not concentrating. Yeah, I would just listen to him. Talking. Even that oath knows to concentrate on what he's doing. <laughs> but what am I concentrating? <laughs> He doesn't concentrate because he's listening to them. So when do I get to make some fire? Concentrate! Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> he is not the general to do that with. Don't burn anything with my fire glass. No fire yet. What? I feel like this is some like Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off training. I like it, man. You brought me up here to breathe? Assume your stance. Wider. You're not even looking. Wider! <laughs> I love this guy. It's nature is to consume. And without control, it destroys everything around Oh no, oh no. <gasps> Shoot, guys, you can't do anything, no! Shoot! I want you to keep this flame from reaching the edges of the leaf forest. Whoa. It's all about the details, man. Concentrate on your leaf. This is the worst firebending instruction ever. All he does is leave me alone for hours to concentrate or breathe. Um, well, maybe it's the best. I did it! I made fire! Wait. Right, but you should take it slow. Yeah, I thought... Careful! Whoa! Now that's firebending! No, you weren't supposed... Aang! Aang, dude, do you not learn anything? What are you doing, dude? Did it. Whoa! Katara, what's wrong? What did you do? It, it was an accident. I, I was uh, Katara. I'm so <laughs> shoot, dude. That's why you don't scroll around with this, Ang. You burned my sister. This is all your fault. <sighs> Poor Katara. Oh. Whoa. What the heck? The great benders of the water tribe sometimes have this ability. Uh, um. Excuse me? Water brings healing and life. But fire brings only destruction and pain. Yeah, fire is destructive. To walk a razor's edge between humanity and savagery. <laughs> Whoa. That is sick. That is sick. My old teacher gave up fighting a long time. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Master John John. Dude, this is so cool. Zhao and his soldiers are attacking. Where? By the river. No, no. We need to go, Aang. You were once so great. I can't believe my former master has become nothing more than a simple savage. I think I can handle a child. I have never seen such- I don't think you can. You were John John student? Until I got bored. Oh, oh, jeez. 
Come on, Aang. This is the big leagues. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Dang. That was sick. Oh, were we fighting? I thought you were just getting warmed up. Yeah, don't make anyone an admiral these days. I mean, that's kind of true. That's kind of how it happened. Ahoy! I'm Admiral Zhao! <laughs> well, okay then. Are you crazy? You haven't thrown a single blow! No, but you have. Ha! <laughs> you burned him. Ha <laughs> you idiot. Zhang Zhang said you had no restraints. Have a nice walk home. Aang, come on. Let's go. Hey, where'd everybody go? <laughs> Very funny, this poor guys. Guy. Uh-oh. Let me help you. I got you. Now I'm a healer. Whoa, dude. When did you learn how to do that? I guess I always knew. Oh, well then thanks for all the first aid over the years. <laughs> that was a really interesting episode. That was very different. Um, I liked that though. Uh, this is the first time we've really seen a, a good, traditionally good, let's say, if we're not going to count Zuko and Iroh, um, Firebender. Which is very interesting. So it, it, it almost gives you an idea of what Firebending should be, um, you know? Which I really like. I think that's very cool to see that um, they're not just the bad guys. You know, we don't fall into the, the Harry Potter trap of like, well, Slytherin are all bad, but basically all the bad guys are Slytherin. Um, okay, maybe I was a little harsh. <laughs> Harry Potter fans are going to come for me in the comments. But you get what I'm saying, where it shows, it shows the balance of firebending and what firebending can be and the goodness in that. Um, I think that was really cool, having that tension with Zhao. I was pretty sure the way they like match cut um, and when he was talking about his student and they cut straight to Zhao, I was pretty sure he was, but I wasn't confident until they confirmed it. That was really cool. I like seeing, um, them develop Zhao a little bit. Weirdly, Zhao has become almost a better villain than Zuko at this point. Um, so that is very, very cool. I liked seeing that. And Chong Chong was a very interesting teacher. I liked that. He was a little hardcore, a little bit different, a little strange, um, but in the best of ways. I really liked that. It was very, very enjoyable. Um, Katara has some new powers, man, which is super cool. A little bit, you know, rushed, but I still think really cool. Um, it makes sense. I like that we're delving into the nature of different bending powers, right? So it's like, okay, of course water has to do with life and healing and earth bending has to do with responsibility. And of course, fire bending is the riskiest. It's the most emotional. And I, I think that is really, really beautiful. That's really just awesome world building. I love details like that. So A, Katara is a healer, which is going to be super helpful in the future. I like that that all makes sense though. Um, and then there's Aang. There's Aang. Between last episode and this episode, I'm not very happy with Aang. Um, he's getting some development, but really all through mistakes. He just chronically will not listen, which is frustrating. Um, I, I really understand where Katara is coming from. He's hurting people. He's incredibly powerful. It's not that he's not powerful. He's very powerful, which is why he has to be careful. Um, I, you know, I kind of get a little bit now where some of the Air Temple masters were coming from, where they were saying, hey, we need to train him. We can't just let him be a kid anymore because he is too powerful to be a kid. You know, to be honest, I know this is going back on what I was saying, but I kind of get that now. I'm understanding where they're coming from because he's so powerful and he can be really immature at times. There are times where he's a hero and I know he's trying to do the right thing. I don't doubt his motives, but either way, you know, he acts very rashly and people get hurt. Katara gets hurt. If this wasn't a kid's show, she could have died, right? Um, it, And so I think that 
I understand where people are coming from, where he needs to really understand the stakes here and he needs to understand his power and his role. And we can't afford to have things happening to us and people getting hurt and him being reckless, like really reckless. So I want to see how this develops. This is kind of something he's been doing. And like I said, he learns, but it's always the hard way. And I really, I'm really looking forward to and hoping that we get to a point where he doesn't have to learn the hard way. Uh, Because the last few episodes, he's been learning the hard way. I'm very interested to see if they develop that, where exactly that goes. Um, So yeah, thank you for joining us here, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, full-length reaction is up on our Patreon as well as next week's episode, episode 17. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, um, it would be really awesome. It does really support our channel, helps us keep doing what we're doing, and it is incredibly reasonable on our Patreon. But either way, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, joining our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. we got lots more Avatar coming your way, and if you do, We will see you all in the next video.